If you're just starting out with Blender, you're probably wondering where you can get the knowledge to become a good Blender artist. This quest can be pretty overwhelming at first, and that's why I made a list of all Blender artists in different niches so that you can find whoever or whatever you need in an instance. You might want to open another tab so that you can subscribe easily to the channels that interest you most. We're starting with some of the biggest Blender channels out there, but after that, I'll go over each category to guide your way into the Blender universe. Also, there's a slight chance I've missed some channels that did deserve a mention. So drop them in the comments if you know them. Let's get started with the top 10 biggest Blender channels out there. Blender Guru. Blender Guru has been in the Blender space for a long time and is also known as the Donut Man. Donut, the donut, what I'm known for. Donut, donut, donuts look good. It's actually a pretty big meme in the Blender community and I recommend watching his tutorials. He works a lot with architectural renders and photorealism and is definitely worth the watch. CG Geek. CG Geek brings a bit of entertainment into his videos and sometimes does challenges such as recreating a Bob Ross painting. He also makes tutorials mainly in the VFX space, so check him out. Ian Hubert. Ian Hubert is popular because of his great sci-fi renders and even a show he's been making in Blender for a long time. He's also pretty famous for his one minute tutorials and many in the Blender community regard him as a total boss. So subscribe to this dude. Polyfjord. Polyfjord has one of the most watched Blender videos on YouTube, the one with the robotic arms. He's quite well versed and comes across as a professional. He often makes longer form content where he explains something cool about rigging or animations. Definitely check out this channel. Ducky 3D. Ducky 3D is known for his motion graphic design and cool looping renders. He does a lot in Eevee which is extra interesting for people with lower end computers. Grand Abbott. Grant Abbott is known for lower poly works and making game assets. He teaches about texture painting and other cool tricks to apply in your game. Crossmind Studio. This channel has a lot of in-depth, longer form tutorials, and I think they're of a very high quality. Actually, the first few tutorials I followed for Blender were from this channel, and I highly recommend watching their content if you need a longer tutorial with good explanations for what you are doing. Polygon Runway. This channel has a lot of content on stylized models and texturing. They also focus on lower poly and isometric renders. Overall, a very big channel in the Blender universe. And although I myself don't follow a lot of tutorials off this channel, this might be a very interesting channel if you're interested in creating elements in this specific style. Inventia. This channel focuses mainly on low poly game assets and also does some fun challenges where he has to model something in 10 minutes. Quite an enjoyable channel and it might be interesting for people in the game asset creation niche as well. Definitely check it out. CG Matter. CG Matter is a peculiar figure in the Blender community. He might be seen as the jester who jokes around a bit, but actually has very in-depth knowledge of Blender itself and the math behind it. This is a smart dude with a touch of humor. Keep it open source and 100% free for all the Blender users looking to master 3D. His tutorials mainly touch on specific use cases that are of a higher level. But he also makes good VFX tutorials on camera tracking and notes in general. So check him out. Alright, so now that we've covered the biggest Blender YouTube channels out there, I'm going to turn this video around a bit. I've divided the different channels into subsections and chapters so you can skip to the subjects that interest you most and subscribe to those channels. I'll briefly go over some of them, but due to the scope of this project, I won't be able to tell you about all of them efficiently. Go to the chapters you like, and if you appreciate me helping you along in your Blender journey and making sense of this space, I would very much appreciate a like and a subscribe. A short disclaimer before we start this part. Someone who does a lot of VFX breakdowns can also do geometry notes tutorials or rigging tutorials, so do mind that these are only an interpreted reflection of their work. Modeling. These channels focus mainly on improving your modeling skills in Blender. If you want to know how to model things with correct topology and gain experience with different modeling workflows, these channels will help you out. Geometry Nodes. Geometry Nodes is relatively new in Blender and although more people sometimes make Geometry Node tutorials, these channels really stick out as focusing mainly on this specific subject. A lot of people find Geometry Nodes very hard to comprehend, but these channels will help you gain a greater understanding of this subject. VFX. There's a lot of great channels out there focusing on VFX in Blender. They help you with camera tracking, compositing, destruction with Blender physics and lots more. Bravo VFX for example made a car destruction method in real time and Alfie Foen also stresses the importance of compositing in Nuke, while CG Matter is testing out different things in Blender that many thought were impossible. Definitely a lot of good channels in this list so I'd recommend taking your time to check them out if you're interested in the VFX side of Blender. Blender Updates and Information 
These channels mainly give out information about updates in Blender and the future of 3D as a whole. Whenever a new version of Blender comes out, or whether there are some amazing artworks or add-ons, they will help give you this information as quickly as possible. Sculpting. Sculpting is a skill of its own in Blender and many of these channels focus on creating characters with good proportions and different sculpting techniques. If you want to dive into character creation and sculpting in general, these channels are the go-to channels. Entertainment. Everybody likes to have some entertainment once in a while. That isn't to say that these channels don't provide value beyond that. Smeef, for example, also makes some product animation tutorials and tries to give valuable information in a different way than most people approach Blender. Daniel Kraft makes viral content recreating Mr. Beast logo, for example. Both are very fun to watch and I recommend checking them out. Photorealism. These channels seem to focus on photorealism specifically. Although that doesn't mean that there aren't any other channels that do this as well, they specifically target the audience that's most interested in creating realistic looking scenes in Blender. General tutorials. The general tutorial section is the place where people make tutorials on pretty much any subject. Lighting, compositing, modeling, texturing and whatnot. They are on the CG generalist side of things and try to give information in any realm of Blender. Miscellaneous. For these people I didn't know specifically in which category they would fall, but they each address a certain niche, which I outlined behind the names. If you're interested in any of these topics, these are the channels to go to. Product animation and rendering. Product animation can be very useful for acquiring clients and making money with Blender. As you watch TV, you'll probably notice that most commercials have 3D elements integrated in them, such as falling coffee beans or cool product animations. You'll also find them a lot in beauty products. These channels will help you understand the process and will also help making interesting looking product renders for advertisements. VFX breakdowns. VFX breakdowns are actually showcases or reels showing the finalized result and speaking about the process of creating it. These channels don't often make long form tutorials, but tell you about the general process they followed to create their cool looking scenes and effects, which, as an inspiring Blender artist, is always fun to watch and may inspire you to do some of your own VFX. Low poly. Some people use Blender to create game assets or other low poly renders. These channels focus on this subject, but I can't say much about it as I haven't dived very deep into the low poly niche. Grease Pencil. Grease Pencil is a function in Blender that isn't used a lot, but since the release of Blender 4.0, more people seem to have taken interest in this niche. These channels make tutorials on using the grease pencil and there aren't a lot of tutorials for it, so check them out. Environment. These artists make environments, oftentimes explaining their process and way of thinking that helps Blender users understand composition, lighting or scaling in their artworks. They always deliver stunning pieces and are worth checking out to gain inspiration to make some renders like this for yourself, so check them out. Animation and rigging. When it comes to animation, I found this one specific channel to give the most in-depth tutorials on the subject. Of course, there are others that talk about rigging and animation, but this one stands out on his own as he has quite a professional workflow and his tutorials are easy to follow as well, while providing great value. ArcViz. The architecture space of Blender is very interesting and tackles specific lighting issues and interior design motives. These channels teach us how to make a floor plan, build assets and create good and realistic looking renders of living rooms, kitchens and bedrooms. Besides Blender Guru, these channels are definitely worth your time. That's it for the Blender community. There are many other channels and lots of people who make cool stuff in Blender but I'm also limited to my own research capacity and knowledge. If I missed an important channel that people should definitely check out, please let everybody know in the comments so that the list becomes even more comprehensive and complete. I hope this video was useful for starting your Blender journey or if you're already an experienced artist to find some inspiring creators besides yourself. If you enjoyed this video and found the value I provided useful, leave a like and click on subscribe for more videos in the future. Also, if you want to know how I made this render, I highly recommend watching this video next. <laughs>